Defect, defect, defect. I like the defect a lot. He's one of my favorite dudes. There's only four characters, and they're all my favorite, but defect, special place. Alright. Upgrade max HP or max HP? Well, I like the max HP. Upgrade's not bad either. It's a lot of elites, it's a lot of campfires. I can do one elite and like a bazillion campfires, or I could do like a lot of elites and not that many campfires. Not that much in between. I wonder if we go for max HP here. And by max HP, I mean we take the damage. Let's do this. It's been a while since I played, man. It's been a while since I played. The color of the card just like threw me off for a second. I was like, wait, everything's blue. Um, I, I don't mind Tempest. I think I'd rather take something rather than nothing in the early game. And I think Tempest does something. Something that I personally think is good. We have a lot of max HP though. This is a great run in terms of max HP. Wedding. Oh boy. FTL is great damage card. We're going against the Guardian. Okay, I like to charge better for the Guardian. I need some block, but FTL is pretty solid, man. Solid, solid, solid. Let's go ahead and remove a strike here. And I was gonna go for a lot of a lot of campfires and get some upgrades. Ooh, can get a curse. No, thank you, because I don't have anything to remove it. Let's go ahead and upgrade some of these cards. Hopefully, I get a little bit better options. Hey, was this worth a uh, plated armor here? Save some life, potentially. He's gonna die very quickly, but I got a potion. It's perfectly fine. Consume versus static discharge. This is a choice. This is tough. It's, consume is very powerful. Static discharge is equally powerful as well. I think I'm leaning towards consume here, but it's not easy. Not the easiest choice. The bone. Oh boy, what a fantastic start. An amazing relic. An amazing relic. Let's see what we hit here. Not bad. Mean the bone perfectly procced. I mean, it doesn't get better than this. Sunder is fantastic. A fantastic upgrade as well. I mean, this is a very good act one. I'm gonna do it. This is a very good act one. Sunder right again, you ready? I even get me in the bone, which is fantastic. Oh, I unfortunately, don't get me in the bone here. But we got another elite pretty, pretty free. Oh, we got defrag. Ah, oh, we got defrag versus consume. Uh, versus cold snap. I mean, cold snap is really good because I need frost. Ah, I need frost really, really bad. The frost has to be worth it. But defrag. I mean, I need frost. Yeah, absolutely. 
It makes consume a lot more relevant and it gives me the consistent block for the Guardian, which is very important. I don't have that much that much consistent block. Frost is pretty fantastic here. Puts a patch defrag over it. Sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction. Alright, we can go ahead and start now. We got the things I care about. Got Happy Flower ready to go. I mean, do I want to waste... Yeah. Do you want to do Tempest? Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic damage. Full block. I mean, it, it's, it's literally perfect. How much damage do we have? 12 plus 32. That's not so perfect. Did I waste another potion? I want to have this potion as insurance. So I can take damage without me the bone. And I want to have this potion as insurance because I want to be able to maybe proc the guardian before I get my ass kicked. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and block and double attack and take me in the bone. And Happy Flower is nice and stacked. Strawberry is great. My, I mean, this is a 97 max HP Act 1. The cards that I have are fantastic. We got to weaken. I mean, what can I say? It is glorious. This is going to be meat in the bone. This is going to hurt. It's so clean. It's incredible. Happy Flower is perfectly stacked. Another source of frost. And let's go ahead and upgrade the weekend. I didn't move you, boo you. All right, do I do fire pot just in case? And we'll see. We'll see right now. No need, my friends. No need. It's so beautiful. Let's go ahead and get full frost here. I can get tempest out of my deck. Got me in the bone. It's worth it. I mean, the bone's worth it. Now you could already go and give me the bone regardless, and you're probably right. I mean, we're doing fantastic right now. I don't know how much more I could talk up this run. I mean, it's just it's so good. Get Tempest out of the deck. Wow, incredible, man. NZBW, thanks for tier one sub, man. Appreciate it a lot. Very clean fight, guys. Very clean fight. Great relics. Let's get Happy Flower stacked up. Let's go ahead and get Happy Flower nice and stacked. Beautiful. Alrighty, Hyper Beam, Buffer Rainbow. I like Rainbow because of the Dark Orb and more Frost and not bad. I think it's pretty, pretty nice card with the amount of focus that I have. A little bit of block, a little bit of lightning giving me the Dark Orb for scaling. It's quite nice. It's quite good actually. Now Buffer is very good as well. For a lot of different fights. Guys, I have this cool... Let me show you something. Let's see if I can change the ambiance. You guys ready for this? I'm going to experiment. One second. Let me experiment. It might be too light outside. Let's try this out, though.
Does it work? It's like a puzzle with like a blue ambiance, but like No, it's too faint. Alright, never mind. If there's ever a nighttime stream it would be more more beneficial. Alright. Uh, let's take a look, guys. Dark orb versus buffer. Go for buffer here. Ooh, Sneko, Echo. Okay, we got Sunder Consume Sneko. We have Zap and FTL, a little bit awkward, but go for the guys, a little bit awkward. But Sunder Sneko could be fun, and Sneko on defect is quite good. I'm doing it. I don't think I have. You guys like the light blue tones? I mean, it's not as prominent as I want it to be. Because it's kind of light outside. We can, we can roll with it when it gets a little bit darker outside. I can also do red. Tone? No, it's, it's barely, you can barely see it, unfortunately. Alright. Let's not mess around with lights. Alright, we have a lot of gold, we want to spend that. And then... Let's take a look at elites. We don't have the greatest AoE, that's a problem. We do that. I'll go over here, do an elite, an elite. Okay. Do the sparkle in Act 3, maybe. Do three leads? Is this a three lead deck? Is this a three lead deck? I don't know. Like without the Sunder's like pseudo AoE in some capacity. It could be three lead deck. Maybe too ambitious. If I don't like the way this is going, I could pivot out of it. That's a lot of hallway fights though, right? Fight, 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 fight. And over here it's event, 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 event. Hey, this is probably the better path, but you get less campfires, right? You get one, two, three campfires in total over here. You get one, two, three. Nice. Oh, three in total as well. But you get more. You get one more elite. One more elite versus a little bit safer path with the events. But I can take damage because I have meat in the bone, right? So maybe taking too many hallway fights is not the worst thing. And uh, getting card choices is pretty good because I have snuck away. Remember, there was a meteor strike offered to me, and I didn't take it. Because I wasn't a fortune seer, and I didn't know. This would be the case. But now that I know, I mean, me and the bone, I mean, I thought it was really good with Sunder Eye. Sunder Eye. That's what I'm calling it, Sunder Eye. Whoops. Sunder Eye. Double energy. Now, the problem with double energy is a little bit awkward here. With the snake white that I just picked up. So, I'm thinking it's ball lane or pass. Or maybe even bullseye. Get a strip artifacts and get more damage out of my lightning. With things like Tempest and stuff. Um. If I want to use a potion here, I 
go strikes again, I know. Yeah, maybe potion was worth it. I don't know, because the potion ships are getting higher, right? Took a lot of damage for no reason there. Recycle is interesting. Recycle and Snackle is like, okay. It could be very good, it could be very bad. Recycle in general is a pretty good card. Yo, big boy Jim, thank appreciate it, man. Is recycle okay on average? I guess is the question here. It allows me to get rid of strikes and defends and draw into. Yeah, I'll do it. Very inconsistent though. Come go X with no X cost cards. That's something. Oh, we have Tempest, and no, that's not. Mill ticket, lantern is good. Mill ticket's okay. Beep boop. Beep boop. Yo, D-Break, thanks for the Twitch round. I appreciate it, man. Uh -oh. I used to watch Jeremiah's videos in philosophy class. It's a good replacement. It's a good replacement. Uh -oh. Meal ticket for the sustain. I mean, we have sustain already with meat and the bone, and I guess I'm not really going to any stores unless I go this path instead, which I don't really plan to do. Cause what I want to upgrade, I want to upgrade buffer, yeah. So then I look at lantern, which could be useful, and I remove a strike. Compile for card draw or discovery, cause we love it. Discovery is quite good, guys. Discovery defect. I mean, I have I have I talked this up enough? I don't know if I have. The problem here is I think it's buggy with the the mod that I'm using for the relics. But Discovery Defect is the perfect amount of RNG to make my deck feel okay. Huh. Alright guys, I, I just see the chat. I'll make a poll real quick, alright? Let's make a poll in the chat. Did I do this right? So I don't know how to make my own poll. Okay, how do I do this? Ah, new poll discovery. Yes. No. Okay, I didn't do it right. All right, well, I don't know how to make a poll. Wait, seriously, how do you do a poll, though? It should usually tell me, right? Oh, poll, new, discovery. Yes. No. Wow. It's poll new. I mean, isn't it implied that I want to make a new poll? Some of you guys fist fought your grand fist fought your fist fought your grandpa. I had to say no. So what are the results? Okay. Gamblers versus this. The music got so nice. The music got so intense. Alright, let's take a look. Let's 
save buffer. Use buffer. Alright, I can't save uh, Happy Flower, unfortunately. Skim? What do you guys think about Skim with Snack Away? So sometimes I can get a little more card draw. And with the random cost, it's, it's weird because Skim could also be a non-playable a non card. I'll go both ways. I'll do it. I'm a fan. It's upper buffer here. All right, intense music coming. Never mind. Okay, that's cool. I can do weaken here. But what if discovery is pog? Mean the bone, baby. Mean the bone. Another consume. Thoughts? Our deck's not that good. It's got some good tools, but in general, it's not that good. It's quite awkward. Thoughts? I love saying that. Mm, any thoughts? Alright guys, we can get lethal here. You ready? Easy. I guess I could have stacked that with flower. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, seek. Okay. Seek is a little awkward, Snack Y, though. I must admit. I need orb creation. True. That's so true. You're not wrong. I need orb creation and a half. I need lethal right about now. Alright. This is pretty good. Cult of Spot is pretty good, yeah? We're scaling against the boss. So Force Stone's a pretty decent card, yeah? Block card. Cult is for a boss or no? If it was champion, I would say hell yes. It's, not, it's, not, it's still pretty decent in this fight, right? I'll do it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't have that much energy here. When do we say... I love the weekend, but... Yes, Seek allows you to take the randomized cause that you saw last time. Fun fact. Fun fact about Seek. Hmm. It works like that with Hologram as well.
Alright, I gotta t get off beta mode. Uh, uh, ow, ow, ow. Ow, I gotta get up beta mode. Ow. Oh, this is torture. Oh no. It's because I'm on beta branch. I think the creator told me to get off beta branch. He's like, this is happening because of beta branch. I, I, I haven't gotten off beta branch. Well, it will fix itself. Do not worry. Just give it a second, boys. Give it a second. Bugging out. Oh, bonjour. Bonsoir. Nalijou, Naluj. Naluj. Uh, I should fix this up soon. Oh, no, no, no. Alright, if it takes too long, we'll just um, get up beta branch and restart, but I think we're over the, over the hump here. <laughs> so we're just having these deadliest attack. It's my fault though, I shouldn't be on beta branch. I, I, I had a feeling that when I asked about Discovery, I knew I was on beta branch. In the back of my mind, I was thinking... I should probably not ask them this. Well, I guess we can check Reddit, see what's going on with the news. As soon as the card is created, it's done. Like, it's like approaching infinity, and infinity is the card creation point, and as soon as it Okay, it's not approaching infinity, but like, it feels like it gets exponentially, like as it's progressing, milli millimeters smaller, 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 before it finally is like, okay, here you go, here's the card, and everything's fixed. But it's like some exponential thing that happens. Go work out, have fun, get a good workout. I'm certainly over the halfway mark that it would be silly to just get reset right now. Like I said, it's also kind of sun cause fallacy because I could just reset right now and then be done with this. But I've already sunk so much cost into this. Now I must wait the duration. Oh boy. I'm tired. Maybe after this run, I'll raid somebody. Oh boy. Oh, there it is. Holy shit. Bronze skills, isn't it? I, this has happened way too many times. This happened too many times where I get bronze skills as soon as I kill Book of Stabbing. It's like he knows what kills him, he hoards the artifact, and only when you kill him can he release his hoard of re relics that he's holding onto to prevent his death. He drops bronze scales, he drops flame bearers, he drops everything that damages him. Without fail, I have 20,000 clips as proof. Oh, 
What's up, Colors Up? Thanks for Twitch Prime. It's going well. What do you guys think about Fusion? I took it already. I think it's interesting. It's going well, man. Thanks for the resub. How you doing? This is an awkward turn. This is one of the awkward turns. Look at all those two costs. What type of deck is this? Um, it's a Snekawai deck. It's the best way I can put it. Is that Mug? Mug Sword? Meat on the bone. Meat on the bone. Let's let the uh, happy flower stack up. I missed this game stream. I love, I love Monster Train. I'm still working on hitting 25, but it doesn't hit the same same high as STS. Yeah, I feel you. I mean, STS is a little bit more like of an investment because it's longer. There's an Act Four. There's a build up. So it's a, it's a longer game. It's a longer process than um, Monster Train. So the the end payout is so it's much better because you had to get through act three and then you had to fight the heart in act four and it's like you went through a whole journey but monster train is more short and sweet i love discovery as well yeah another cold snap here Still need to hit 20 on the watcher, you mean? <laughs> That's how you have been playing too much Monster Train. I have a value, I'm shedded it in a, a, a hundred runs, five wins. Well, the next step is to evaluate why you're shit at it. And yeah, Marvin, we gotta play League. You gotta get your butt on League. You, you've abandoned us. I don't know if Marvin heard me or not, but... Alright, I think I... Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Whoopsies. Let's go ahead and get out. I wasn't going to do that again. Oh boy. The Watcher? The Watcher is... Is a... Uh, a math heavy class with crazy damage and crazy cards. And lots of long streams of combos. The fundamental thing you got to understand is um, the ability to damage that you could do with Wrath Form and Divinity, and also understand the power of changing stances and being in calm stance, and the powers, how you get defense related to that. Um, and you also got to learn a lot of math because you got to sometimes triple and double your damage. The numbers you reach are a little bit higher than usual. The Watcher for me is exhausting though. Like, I haven't been able to play the Watcher. As consistently. Like I, I that's why Life Coach is, is interesting to me because he plays the Watcher exclusively. But for me it's like the Watcher um Like I get tired. Wait, why is Wait, why is Discovery like this right now? Wasn't it a different cost just a second ago? Like it's like a 
resetting the game changed this, this, the cost. Can you guys see the relics if you were to hover over? Does it still work if you guys hover over the relics in the stream? Well, B big boy, it's important. It's important to like when you're going against Seraph to um. To, to know what Seraph you're going against and how that's going to affect your overall deck, you know? And I know that sounds obvious, but what I mean to say is like... The final boss should influence your... Um, how you play. Genetic, is it still too early? Um, I guess some of the biggest tips I can get for the Seraph and just Monster Train in general is like AoE is very important and targeted damage is very important. So things that are going to really affect you are like the 15 and 3 damage, sorry, the 15 and 3 HP monsters or like the 15 and 5 HP monsters, like the 15 times 2 HP monsters, and there's things like Sweep of Ember Drain. But I mean, having AoE consistently and being able to manage like the small things and having a way to manage big things as well. I mean, it's like Slate the Spire in the sense that like. You need big enough damage to handle big HP enemies or ways to handle that, and you need ways to handle the small HP stuff like AoE. So as long as you tackle that consistently every run, you will win a lot more. And I don't know if you're doing that or not, but maybe that could help you out. And having some piercing could be useful sometimes too, but sometimes you don't have access to piercing. I would say piercing falls in the same kind of vein as like big HP stuff. But yeah, having access to piercing could make a big wealth difference. Think of like Melter in some sense. But um, yeah. I would say just make sure your AoE is on point and you can consistently kill things that are high threat but low HP. If that makes any sense. Genetic algorithm. Uh, do I have time to skill genetic algorithm? I'm going to say no. Well, maybe I do have time for genetic. It's very good. Front loaded block. And I have a couple more floors to do it, right? Eh, the cost is too variable. Discovery Plus going. I hope that helps it. I hope that helps in some capacity, you know. Maybe you're already doing that, maybe that was obvious, I don't know. I, I find that that's what helps me quite a bit is um I, I think I did the order wrong there, that was my bad. I've got CPS. It's also to be, it could be said that in Monster Train, some things can just outright win. Like, you don't actually need that much to win. So, for instance, I won with just four, I say just. So, let me put it into perspective. I, um, I had... I had a um, salvation which pulls your monsters and points with the mid lane, and then I got Shadow Sheets. And all I needed was. One sec, to not die here. One second. Uh 
Um. One sec. I don't want to fuck this up. Check this out. Uh, all for one's actually not good here. But Sunder is. Am I weakened? I am. So how much does Sunder do right now? Not enough. Did I go tired of STS? A little bit. Yeah, I was a little bit tired of STS. But just in general, it wasn't just STS. Just in general, I, I was kind of just like tired of playing some games in general. I was just I got in a little bit of a funk. It was unfortunate because, you know, I want to make YouTube content and stream content, but I was just like in a little funk, you know? And sometimes that happens in life. I just got to figure that out. I'm trying to think here. Uh, so I can't do Sunder. I could do Discovery. Maybe Force Field again? Nah, you don't talk too much. You're fine, dude. I'm talking all the time. I talk too much. I guess I could do Sunder. Wait, I could do Sunder. Ice cognition. He's attacking again. I should have needed to let my flower stack up. But in general, we did a lot of elites here and we survived. Ooh, capacitor is quite good. All right, the question is, can we do this boss fight without resting? And what's going to have to happen is like... I'm going to have to hit Sunder pretty often. I'm yawning. I have to hit Sunder pretty often. I need coffee, actually. To handle these minions. And I need Discovery to bail me out. And I even wonder if Capacitor is worth the upgrade here. I say yes it is. I say yes it is. That's worth a whole bunch of focus there. I can get this out of the deck now. You hungry now? I feel you. We have recycle. I think we have the recycle here. Recycle fusion. Are we recycling fusion? Sure. Can't play capacitor just yet. <laughs> Bless me. I don't want to play forceful just yet. I don't twenty twenty five thirty. Cheesecake. Oh, I haven't had that in a long time. Hologram. Let's go. Wait, I don't want to do this because I want to leave one of the minions alive, yeah? I actually want to leave one of the minions alive, but I also want to pick a pastor, so I'm a little bit... It's a little unfortunate because you want to leave one of the minions alive so he doesn't spawn two brand new ones. But I also want to play Capacitor. It's one of those awkward moments.
consume again. Milk chocolate, ooh. It's a little too rich for me though, like, it, it sounds good, but it also sounds too rich. I don't know about you guys, but like, I should've played Discovery, it's my bad. I can only have like so much of sweets. I, I'm a much more salty, savory kind of dude. And when I have sweets, a little goes a long way. Because some stuff is just too decadent. And I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm good. Well, some people have a voracious sweet tooth. And I don't think that's me. There's moments where I'm craving sweets, but then most of the time, like, I'm just, I like my salt and vinegar chips. Is that an echo form? Sneko Echo, let go of my ego. All right, so we don't rest with me and the bone and get some energy, or we just depend on Happy Flower for the rest of the game. We can remove two strikes and make the deck cute, small, and petite, or we can do Astrolab and make it cute, small, and petite with upgrades. I mean, there's a world where we just do Coffee Dripper and we never rest and let me and the bone carry us. And there's Suffer Pair exists in this class. And then we upgrade things like Force Field. And we upgrade things like Cool Headed. This is risky. Guys, fair warning, this is risky. I could have just brought Sunder. Whoops. Now I could take Zaviani. Whoops. Interesting. Interesting. Look at our energy. Oh my lord. Let's get Happy Flower stacked up. Happy Flower is perfectly stacked up. This is actually beautiful. Look at this. I mean, there's moments in life where things come together and this is like, you cannot say that that's not beautiful. Reinforced body is a way to dump our energy sometimes and is a good block card. I don't mind it at all. Lose a potion, lose fusion. I think we lose fusion. We're not really using it now. Let's get a relic. Nice. Frozen Eye versus Loop. Loop is very important. I'm taking Loop almost 100% of the time. Now we take Frozen Eye. Frozen Eye is quite good. We can remove a strike or we can get the ability to see what's coming up. Let's do it. Ah, preserve insects or get rid of... Ah, I'm taking it. That's a seek. 
All right, boys. So we have a lot of good things. Our deck is pretty poggers, my friends. So I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of things. First and foremost, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this. One buffer is fine because of Echo Form in play. We're not going to take damage most of the time. I did say most of the time. But then there's also this edge case where we do take damage and we cry because it's one damage we took extra. We should be fine in general though. Let me take a look at our. Look at that. I mean, look at that. Capa Guys, that right there wins the game. If that happens against the heart, it's game over. If I get capacitor doubled against the heart with consuming my deck and loop and all that stuff, the game's over. Speaking of loop, that's a great upgrade target. What happens to X cost? So it plays the X cost twice. Yeah, have your fire nice and stacked. Have your flower nice and stacked. Beautiful. Ooh, cool head is fantastic. I love it. This is smooth as butter, baby. Gotta get rid of this relic and see what we have to get rid of. Good sustain, which is fantastic because we have coffee drippers. So this is a residual sustain, which is gonna activate my uh, deck. Oh my god, we also got seek first turn. I don't know if I'm hacking or not, but it feels like I might be. Yeah, I mean, these are just regular everyday occurrences. You're, you're overhyping it. Yeah, maybe I am. But it feels so damn good. Storm. Rainbow. That loop in effect. Loop is so good. Who's the boss? I love my deck, guys. It's very nice. I feel very powerful right now. Check that out, guys. Check this out. Look at the scaling. You ready? We have buffer to back us up. And now we got scaling on this. I mean, it's fantastic. It's GG next turn. Happy Flower perfectly stacked. Look at this. Happy Flower perfectly stacked. Easy lethal. I mean, it's beautiful. I like charge battery here. It's um it's a good block and Yeah, I don't mind it. I think it's a decent block card. Do I need it? Is the question. Is it bloaty? It might be bloaty. Look at this. Let's draw some cards. Hmm. Let's weaken him. Draw some cards. If it hits Echo Form, I'm, I'm doomed. So, I'll do this. Don't, I don't want to hit Echo Form. You gotta understand the value of your cards and play around that. More Sunders in the deck is not bad, but also at the same time, I want to see what other options I have. We're taking some damage here. This is a good Sunder. 
My bad. Bum, 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 bum. Well, 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 well. Perfect block. That was the Sparkle Elite, guys. That was the big, bad, scary wolf. Goodbye, Kunai. It's nice knowing you. I should recall here. Smooth as can be. That's my dream. I like Tempest here because I can just double my energy. Do I want double my energy? It's something to think about. Something to think about. No handies, lol. Thanks for Twitch Prime. I appreciate it, man. Why did I recall? Because I want to have the option. Lol, just kidding. I see what he's going with that. I right, just kidding. I didn't finish my sentence. No, thank you, no handies. Appreciate it, man. Now nah, I can get a better card to upgrade, that's exactly what I was thinking about. Get a better card to upgrade here. It's just a good habit to recall early, you know? It's a good habit. People forget about it, I, aka me. I don't think Seek's a good upgrade here, no. Seek just wants to bring Echo Form and that's it. That's my opinion of Seek right here. Reboot! Awkward. I want lethal. Lethal. Oh, no, 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 no. Not this option. Glacier is huge, but Hologram Plus is so good with Sneko Eye. Because Sneko Eye Hologram can, means I can bring back Sunder when I need it. Discovery when I need it. And if Discovery brings it all for one, well, then I have potential infinite in my deck. Just off the back of one Hologram. But then Glacier exists, and Glacier is so big. But I think Hologram does more for my deck. Because it, it can influence the cost of cards in terms of like bringing back a zero cost Sunder. Or that capacitor that I missed. I can do Discovery more often and do RNG Fests. Glacier is pretty damn good though. But Hologram, just with one all for one is an infinite sometimes. I have Cold Snap, Cool Headed, Cold Snap, Cool Headed as my Frost Orbs. Let's do the Glacier. We got Seek, baby. As soon as we got Seek, that means we got Echo Form. That was a mistake, because he could have gave me a curse, we would have cried. I also forgot to check that I have Frozen Eye. Which, in hindsight... It's a little bit of a funny thing. I have Consume coming up with Frozen Eye, and then we have Capacitor thereafter. Using Frozen Eye, I can see that I can perfectly outscale this fight.
And now I do double capacitor. And we have outscaled this fight. Oh, we actually got a, an extra capacitor. Oh my. Oh my. And now we draw into uh, more consumes. And we have outscaled this fight so hard. That I forgot to mention. I need to do damage. To avoid this curse. I have the wastification pot to avoid a curse. Yo, thank you, Slay. Appreciate it, man. I was so caught up in doing this consume, I didn't do double storm, so, okay. I have to waste this to avoid the curse. It's not pleasant, but it's necessary. Roll the dice. Oh my. Equilibrium. Equilibrium is interesting because... Uh... I mean, the ability to retain is quite nice because if I have Echo Form, I could hold on to Capacitor and then guarantee Capacitor twice. So what my deck wants to do is guarantee Capacitor twice and then do Consume for Scaling. In, in general, it's pretty bad with Snickle, yes. But Capacitor is something I want to... I guess we can just play around our immense card draw with Frozen Eye. That could just work. Echo form is at the bottom of my deck. Uh, I need to play consume really bad, but then this guy is doing too much. Consume is too important. Whoo! The wounds are starting to become problematic though, and I don't have good AoE. So Discovery needs to hit Electrodynamics. You guys ready? Fuck. Now, to be fair, I could amplify Echo Form here. Should I do it? Or should I play Storm? And Storm could allow me to maybe sometimes kill these minions easier. Amplify Echo Form is overkill, whereas Storm could at least kill these minions. I think Amplify Echo Form is too overkill. Alright, now I need to kill these big minions, so... I do Tempest here, yeah? It's the most bang for a buck to do Tempest instead of blocking. Now, how does this work? If I block, how does Buffer work? Okay, so we've learned that the order is random as hell, yeah? So... If I block for this, 34, 44, there's a world where, like, the top two gets blocked, and then I buffer the second hit, buffer this hit, and then I take nine only. And there's also a world where both lightning hits him, but it goes left, right, so it goes with what? This guy, this guy, then I buffer this, buffer that, and I'm fine. No, it worked differently, but it still worked. Holy crap. 
That was a butt clencher. Why do I have all three caves? What do you mean? I'm about to fight the final boss. I recalled right here. I got, I skipped, uh, Kunai. Hydration. Oh, got another glacier. Nice. I draw into Echo Form very soon, so. Sick. I think Bullseye is more important than Charge Battery there. Nice. Next turn I drew Double Consume here. Nice. I want to weaken him here. I'm going to outscale him here. Having lightning on loop is actually more important because of uh, the way block versus lightning works here. And the fight's outscaled. Double discovery, baby. Gotta love it. The outscalage. And we just go ahead and end turn, GG. All for one, that's pretty good in this Neko Eye deck. I'm doing it. Uh, if we had the hologram, this would have been huge. All right, as far as upgrades, there's a world where I upgrade Echo Form, but I feel like no matter what, guys, we play Echo Form as soon as we see it. Can we agree on that? I said this before, and I haven't really stuck to it sometimes. Okay, the other upgrade, I think, is Force Field or Glacier. Right? I think we're playing Glacier more often than we are playing Force Field, yeah? So we just get the upgrade and block Force Field, or even Reinforced Body is a great upgrade as well. Reads for a body is pretty good actually. Seek is okay, but I'm probably just play Seek for Echo Form and that's it. Seek allows me to do recycle. Seek plus allows me to do recycle alongside Echo Form in some cases, and that might be necessary. All four upgrades gives me more damage. That's the least um, concern. It's, for me, it's more block out of Force Field, more block out of Reinforced Body, which has a higher ceiling, in, in fact, because of the amount of energy I can get. I think it's reinforced body actually. But seek sometimes, yes, I can bring recycle alongside echo form and play it. It's reinforced body, 100%. Okay, 99.5% confidence interval. The 
Glacier. That's good damage. See the things I, I don't want to draw consume because I want to double it next turn. Or do I? I don't want to double next turn because I, I want to keep my frost. What I want to do is redraw into my deck. Double buffer is kind of nuts, but so is double discovery. Double loop next turn is huge. Double loop next turn is massive. Recycle is a great card. Recycle is one of the defects best cards. Yes. That's a poggers. That is a poggers. Verifiable pogger. Double loop. We're gonna take some damage here, but sometimes in life, if I do double skim, I can draw into my restroom first body, but no, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. I need my consume to come ASAP. Consume is not coming ASAP yet. Okay. Double buffer next turn is huge. Double F next turn is really big. I'd rather do charge battery here. Pass those three costs. I want I would rather double A two. Uh double discovery though? Ah, uh, also double sunder? I don't know, it's tough. Double recycle, get rid of these two things. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Double recycle these two strikes. That was tough, man. Because I also wanted to double sunder. I also want I think they're supposed to do damage here. Okay, I'm supposed to double double consume, but the problem is uh it's just kind of awkward. The last turn was kind of awkward, the way how I handled buffer. Cause now I didn't play consume. If this is one cost I can I can kill him but Ah, uh, but now I can't play Glacier and Capacitor. This is just awkward, dude. Because I can't play Capacitor. So awkward.
Not that it matters. It should be fine. Consume. Alright, cool. Consume is coming. So is Capacitor. How about this? How about this? Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Alright, GG finally, oh my god. Ugh, I took- Alright, uh, if, if that happens against the heart, I'm screwed. I took like 20,000 turns to get that to go be proper. That, if that happens against the heart, it's GG. Oh my, that was terrible. That's just, just like me training for the heart, and th that was not good. <laughs> no Cherie was that good. But hopefully, uh, we can kink that out a little bit before we get to the heart. I'm sure I get Happy Flower on, on th two. I have so many glaciers in my deck, it's crazy. I'm just playing too many running covers. Let's, let's just finish it. Let's, let's finish this cleanly. My da like Sunder's my damage right now. Blizzard, yeah. Blizzard, Blizzard, Blizzard. I mean, I'm using Discovery as like a main component of my deck. We're ending. We want to end on this turn, so let's go ahead and kill him right now. Alrighty. Wait, what was the first boss? Wait, what? Interesting. Interesting. That's the first one that's happened to me. That's the first one that's happened to me. Do people know why that happens? That's crazy. Is the time limit for the second boss? <laughs> I took too long. <laughs> That took too long. <laughs> well, I guess I gotta take longer next time. I don't know why that happened. It's weird. Um, or so seek. I, I think it's glacier upgrade. What if I bullseye for damage? I think we're low on damage. Will that be counting the streak? I mean, it was an intentional bug, right? So I think it would be. It'd just be on a lucky circumstance. It's not an exploit that happened intentionally, you know? I, I would, that, would, that would be weird if that affected a streak because, to be honest, like, that person didn't ask for it and, if, you know, if anything, they're welcoming the next boss. Yeah, this is an artifact, but here's the thing. It's like... It helps you get more damage with lightning. I don't know how much I care about that, actually. Card draw. Maybe just upgrade the second cool headed. Okay. Another loop. I think it's pretty good. I can do like loop remove. Or I can get rid of one of these potions and get a better potion. I think we do loop remove. Our damage is like lightning against the heart. Lightning and thunder.
Oh, look at the thunder. Speak at the devil. Where's my echo form? Echo form is at the bottom. Okay. Loops right there. Okay. That's also a buffer. All right, this is a pretty good turn, though. Wait, should I fire to focus and maybe killing uh, the spire shield here? Because I can probably kill this easier with uh, Sunder. Perfect. I mean, it's a beautiful first turn. It's like gorgeous first turn. Let's see what we get here. Capacitor. Versus darkness. Now if I do darkness, I gain five block, but I don't get loop. But the five block allows me to block that and then save buffer and only take 20. If I do darkness, if I block, I'm at 21, and then I do this, I'm at 26, I don't take, okay, I think I do darkness. Interesting. If I do double, I don't, I don't have double, I don't have double, okay. All for one. All for one can bring back Sunder Force Field Charge Battery. Okay. Do I have lethal here with Sunder Force Field? With all for one, I mean. It says 12. Twelve, get okay, twelve, thirty-two, forty-four. Plus the random damage here. Plus all for one is going to be ten, fifty-four. Hmm. If I do this, it's an extra. Six sixty damage. This music is getting intense. If I block, this is forty five. Psycho could not be the right cause though. If I ever cycle seek though, I say I, I seek out this, and then I seven, seven times nine. Sixty-three block. That seems okay. Seems okay. They're doing 69 damage. Then I don't play consume though. And I draw seven. And all for one does not get to get played with the discard, which is important because all for one can be played right now. And do significant damage. I think all for one could even. Tough. I think there's black for 63 then. If 
I turn here, do I block for more? So, I end up blocking for more if I do go for the ice first, right? I get minus nine, but then I, how much do I do? Should I get minus nine, but then that one becomes, um, so instead of 12, it becomes 18. So I take six more damage, but then I mitigate a lot of damage like this. And now I can have Dark on loop. Which should be able to kill here. That's my bad. I should have done um on FTL there. I don't have instant sprinter. This is rough. Ooh, that's bias cog. That should just win, yeah. Hopefully we, we're good enough for the, the, the heart here. Let's try to end this on right now so that we could end it on two. If I use the potion, I get extra healing. Okay, didn't matter. Let's go. Alright boys, we got Seek Echo Form right away. Now if Echo Form is bottom of, it was at the bottom of the deck. Echo Form was at the bottom of the barrel. Oh boy. On today we rejoice. Cause it was at the bottom of the barrel. That would have been tragic. Alright. Um I could draw into force field potentially and take less damage. So if I do this, I can take less damage if force field is of good cost. And then next one I can do double consume. Ah, next one I can do double consume. And then end with a buffer. Oh, and then I can follow up with loop on the next turn. Oh, and then I follow up with capacitor. Oh my God, my turns are laid out for me. I wanna do this. All right, it didn't work out how I wanted it to, but that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Consume is so good, but... I think we do double consume and then we do cool headed. And then we do double loop. And then we do double capacitor. And we should scale to win the game. The problem here, this is 30 damage. And I'm taking beat of death. Now I could do this, which is full block, but then I don't have consumed scaling. But I save a lot of life. So I can full block and save a lot of life with no consume scaling. And then play double loop. And then double capacitor. And then still have no consume scaling. Or I can consume scale now. And by the time I get to double capacitor. Why is all the glaciers over here? Oh no no no. That's problematic. I gotta think about this. Because... All my significant frost is already drawn. So if I do double consume now and I get the scaling, and then I end with this, cool headed, and draw out some of the bad stuff, draw into my stuff like this earlier, and then with Ori Calcum plus this, 
I don't take as much damage, but still take a significant amount of damage. Double loop seems super important. I'm, I'm gonna be very low on life. But it's for a good cause. I think this is an opportune time to get rid of slime. I'm gonna be very low on life. No, I don't draw it in time, but I can play double loop. Oh my god, that's huge. Oh, we won the game. Because I can play double loop next turn. And then can pass it on the following turn. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm taking an extra two here, but I think it's, it's fine. All right. Double loop, double loop, double loop. Yes. I got a double capacitor. I have to. I hope I don't die. Please don't let me die, sir. Seven HP in a dream. I have to be double capacitor, so I can't draw it now. I have to. All right, full block. Time to do damage, time to do damage, time to do damage, 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 damage. Boys, GG. All right, this is good damage, but I also want to play buffer twice because that could be useful. But maybe I just play buffer once and go for the damage, yeah? I still need to do damage. Double consumer coming up. Yes, yes, yes. I need lightning now. Do I do this lightning? I think the damage is too significant. But I could also keep some frost. I think damage is too significant. Let's go. We got double weakened, baby. Now I can never lose. Now I'm never losing. And I'm never nude. I get so excited I'm saying crazy things. Oh my god, look at the scaling. Double bullseye. The damage is here. Look at it go. Alright, two wins and one loss today. I can take it. I can live with that. They're around the same time, an hour and 28 minutes, an hour and 29 minutes. The silent was a little unfortunate. But I haven't played Space in many in like many weeks and to get two heart wins. After my big break, it was pretty good. But only one boss in Act 3. I know, that was, that was weird. Wait, what? Is this because I... What? Let's ignore the fact that I just used Echo Form to win the game. I also just unlocked Echo Form. Hell yes. 
Can't wait to play with Echo Form. It's gonna be amazing to play with that card.